Hey guys, it's your girl Sage. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever this video finds you. I'm here with a prophetic word dropped into my spirit in the form of a real-time revelation. I was reading my mini Bible here um, while I'm on my lunch break and the good Lord has told me that there is a message here for somebody. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the word. Just a friendly reminder, please take all prophetic words back to the good Lord for confirmation. Don't just take it and run with it. but. I have a feeling you're going to know if this word is for you. So today's word comes from Ezekiel chapter 6, which is called Judgment Against Israel's Mountains. Again, a message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, turn and face the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them. Proclaim this message from the Sovereign Lord against the mountains of Israel. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to the mountains and hills and to the ravines and valleys. I'm about to bring war upon you, and I will smash your pagan shrines. All your altars will be demolished, and your places of worship will be destroyed. I will kill your people in front of your idols, I will lay your corpses in front of your idols, and will scatter your bones around your altars. Wherever you live, there will be desolation, and I will destroy your pagan shrines. Your altars will be demolished, your idols will be smashed, your places of worship will be torn down, and all the religious objects you have made will be destroyed. The place will be littered with corpses, and you will know that I alone am Lord. But I will let a few of my people escape destruction, and they will be scattered among the nations of the world. Then, when they are exiled among the nations, they will remember me. They will recognize how hurt I am by their unfaithful hearts and lustful eyes that long for their idols. Then, at last, they will hate themselves for all their detestable sins. They will know that I alone am Lord and that I was serious when I said I would bring this calamity on them. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Clap your hands in horror and stamp your feet. Cry out because of all the detestable sins the people of Israel have committed. Now they are going to die from war and famine and disease. Disease will strike down those who are far away in exile. War will destroy those who are nearby. And anyone who survives will be killed by famine. So at last I will spend my fury on them. They will know that I am the Lord when their dead lie scattered among their idols and altars on every hill and mountain and under every green tree and every great shade tree, the places where they offered sacrifices to their idols. I will crush them and make their cities desolate from the wilderness in the south to Rivla, in the north. Then they will know that I am the Lord. So, um, the good Lord dropped into my spirit that this is kind of serving as a warning um, for those who are going up against the children of God. But this is also kind of serving as it's not just repentance that's going to bring that's going to bring about refuge from this situation. God wants these people to commit, and I'm talking about the ones that are practicing witchcraft, attacking the children of God. He is not just seeking repentance from them anymore. He wants them to lay their lives down for Jesus. He wants them to consecrate themselves to Jesus because he is absolutely appalled at all these false idols that are being worshipped. And he considers false idols to be like random pieces of wood that people have carved something into and have given meaning to. Or a mythological creature such as a dragon. He's, he's just livid because he... He's the reason that any of us were able to exist to even imagine these things. So for us to go and turn our backs on God, to just go ahead and worship some random, I, I don't know, like some, I don't know. I don't really know too many deities. I guess I can talk about like maybe the Egyptian deities or something. But as we all know, those are actually just, those are just fallen angels disguising themselves as gods in order to steal from God's glory. So again, this is serving as a warning um, because you may, you are a child of God. You may have had a lot of people attacking you possibly with witchcraft, but if that's not you, then you may know people who are worshiping these false idols and these false gods and have not turned their life to Jesus. And God has just about had it because he's been warning these people when they've been mocking you, when they've been putting you down even if it's been behind your back, he has been warning these people to leave you alone. And not only that, but to repent and to turn to Christ. And they have not done that. So, um, and God's not happy about it. God has had it. God's up to here. And so he wanted me to get this message out because 
Um, I highly encourage you, pray for your enemies. They're, you know, pray for your enemies that they turn around and they turn back to Jesus. He is their only way. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, I hope all of y'all take care. Bye-bye!